What's going on guys? Sean here coming at y'all with a little video. I know it's been a couple days. I've uh, been putting some stuff together, uh, working on a couple things. Hasn't been too much to talk to, uh, uh, talk about outside of the draft stuff, but uh, you know, I finally watched some YouTube videos, got a wild hair, and uh, you know, got a few things that I need to talk about, a few things that I'd like to say. Um, for some of the other Eagles content creators, you know, a uh, couple things that I just don't like that I've been hearing a lot lately, you know what I mean? Um, we're going to talk about, uh, obviously, we're going to talk about our draft picks. We're going to talk about the Eagles cap space number, which is ridiculous. I cannot believe how much money the Eagles still have left. Um, you know, and, and just a little bit of everything, just a little everything. You know how we do things here, guys. Before we get into it, though, please like, please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Let me know what you guys think about the state of the Eagles, the cap space, uh, and what I'm about to talk to you guys about. I appreciate y'all so much, and uh, let's just go ahead and get into it. So, um, something that's really been aggravating the hell out of me lately, it, it's really been driving me insane, is, uh, excuse me, is, uh, you know, people penciling in certain people at certain positions, all right? Um, people also forgetting who, you know, our best talent was on this team over the past two years. You know, some of our most talented players, you know, uh, one of which being Reed Blankenship, uh, apparently he doesn't exist anymore. Apparently, you know, Hassan Reddick was allowed to collapse. Josh Sweat was allowed to collapse. Everybody on this defense in the epic collapse, you know, um, it wasn't any of their fault. But for some reason, Reed Blankenship, when he fell off with the rest of the defense, it is his fault. And now he's a third or fourth safety and blah, 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 blah. He was our highest graded player last year. All right. So you got people penciling in Cooper DeGene at safety. Eh. Slot. Cooper DeGene is going to be our slot corner. He is a second round pick slot corner. I don't hate it if he is what we think he can be, but he is a slot corner. Yes, he will be moved around. He's probably going to be a slot corner, a dime linebacker, a nickel linebacker, um, you know, third safety. All of that makes sense. But it's going to be CJGJ, and it's going to be Reed Blankenship starting at safety, okay? That's just the way it is. That's just the way it's going to happen this year. And for people to say before minicamp or anything – uh, that someone else is going to be a starter, you know, basically content creators just coming out here and saying, oh, well, this guy's starting here, this guy's starting here. And you might be saying, well, Sean, you just did the same thing. Yeah, but I'm using my brain. Um, the two guys who played safety last year are probably going to play safety for us. And the guy who played corner last year, who we just traded up to draft, is probably going to play corner for us. You know, I, I think these are the same people that have put way too much stock in Keely Ringo, in Eli Ricks, in uh, um, uh, who's the other one we signed from the Colts? Isaiah Rogers, uh, even Zach McPherson getting some love out here. I have no faith in any of those guys. We have Darius Slay. Uh, uh, we have the Flying Frenchman, if that gives you any hint who I'm talking about here. Um, Cooper DeGene and Mitchell, like that's our three. And then, you know, Bradbury is probably going to get traded post June one, uh, June 1st, whatever, you know, um, you know, and those other guys are going to battle for two depth spots. You know, they're going to battle for, uh, they're going to battle for depth positions. They're going to battle for special team spots where they should be watching last year. How can anybody sit here and say that we should bench corn or safeties, which are strict? Here's the other thing that they're not thinking about. You put Cooper DeGene at safety, all right, with CJ DJ, all right? That means you're starting Slay and uh, uh, the rookie we took, whose name I, I said a minute ago and now I'm blanking on, um, our first round pick and Slay at corner. Cooper DeGene and CJ GJ at safety. Reed Blankenship becomes your third safety. And then what happens with Sidney Brown? 
did people not watch Sidney Brown last year? He's big. He's strong. He needs to be in this defense. Uh, we need to find a way to get him involved. Um, absolutely. So why am I going to push another guy to safety, you know, just to, to move Sidney Brown down another spot? I mean, it just, it doesn't make any sense. It genuinely doesn't make any sense to me. Um, you know, and everybody's just kind of penciling everything in, you know, and like it's a done deal. I don't think it's that way at all. I think there's a reason why we didn't draft safeties, and there's a reason why we drafted two outside corners. Yeah, Cooper DeGene is going to get on the field this year doing whatever he can do, but he's an outside corner. We drafted two outside corners, and that's exactly where they're going to play when it's all said and done. Um, you know, also with Trotter Jr., um, I've been on Twitter a lot, and I'm seeing a lot of unnecessary hate on Trotter Jr., he is, he, he went late because he's A, <coughs> he's undersized, B, most people knew the Eagles were just going to draft him no matter where he went anyway, so I think certain teams just expected us to grab him in the third and didn't even have him on their board, didn't even know he was still there, um, and C, I think it's also because, you know, he just, there was production, but you know, linebacker, there wasn't really a guy this year. You know, there was a lot of maybes. Um, and Trotter's a maybe. But I think he's got a pretty good chance of being a player in this league. I mean, you know, we see guys that are built like Trotter all the time that are getting paid, that are playing well, um, that are doing good things in the league right now. So, you know, I don't really understand uh, where the Trotter Jr. hate's coming from. Uh, you know, I've seen hate from the running back we picked and Adon uh, Adonis Smith, uh, the wide receiver, like uh, Jalex Hunt, you know. I think this was a great draft. I'm just tired of hearing people saying that the defense is going to get shuffled and we're going to do things a certain way and certain guys are going to play this position, that position, because it's never how it works. You know, we, uh, we have these conversations every year. Maybe this corner can become a safety. Maybe this safety can become a corner. Maybe this guy is a hybrid guy. Um, yeah, no, it never works. It never works. So uh, I just, I want everyone to slow down. Let's see what they do at rookie minicamp. Let's see where they're playing everyone because at Cooper DeGene's press conference, he said he's playing everywhere. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. He's playing everywhere everywhere so not safety not outside corner not slot corner not dime linebacker not nickel linebacker uh you know everywhere which is what i expect they're gonna try and get him on the field but uh one of those two outside corners starts this year one of them is going to be in a hybrid role and i think we know who that's going to be at this point um and, you know, Cooper DeGene is going to be a player that, you know, isn't going to see his full potential with the Eagles for a couple of years. And that's okay. You know, drafting second round players who start a little bit here and there and then become a full time player later and they're studs. It's worth it. It is worth the wait. You know, I think we're going to see that this year at center. Um, all right. Now, I teased it to you guys and I'm done rambling. That's enough of that. Uh, we have a ridiculous number of cap space, a ridiculous number. We have like $27 million according to over the cap. Like, I don't even know how our number got there because if people remember, I put out a video a little while back saying about Hassan Reddick's, uh, cap relief doesn't actually hit till next year. So we're at 27 million without even thinking it, uh, about the, <coughs> the Hassan Reddick trade and everything. I mean, it's just... It's absolutely ridiculous. So we're pretty much stacked at every position on paper. On paper. We're pretty much stacked at every position. And you have $27 million. And you have 10 picks next year to go make moves. To get shit done. Um, Howie Roseman Masterclass. I can't wait to do my Howie Roseman video. I've been talking about it forever. But the story is still going. So it's so hard to find a breaking off point. You know, when... We're in probably his best draft and free agency uh, that he's had forever, ever, you know, or in a long time, whatever you may think. But guys, thank you so much for sticking with me through the video. That's going to be it for today. I'm done rambling. I love you guys so much. Thank you for coming back. Please like, please subscribe. Uh, and guys, 
Have a great day. Fly, Eagles, fly.